guys <laughs> after only a year or so should i say only or it is just too crazy after a year and like almost a year and a half of not knitting i finally got crochet hooks and some yarn i'm getting ready i'm getting prepared for the course but i'm so excited this one part I hope you don't see where I live. <laughs> I will cut this part out. <laughs> I just got the um, I just got the package from Las Tijeras Magicas. Pienso yo. Sí, Las Tijeras Magicas. I just got the package with one part of the yarn which I ordered and some scissors. Uh, scissors now, some crochet hooks. I'm so excited, uh, it's been, as I said, a year and a half, I have a need and I'm just, I'm just crazy to, to start all uh, and to, to show you, to share with you what I'm going to make for the course. Uh, keep on watching to see what I've got. kind of overview what I've got and the <clears throat> this yarn is going to be for the maxi dress I'm preparing for the course and well I haven't had maxi 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 dress no maxi skirt which I'm preparing for the for the course and I haven't had maxi skirts I think in my life I haven't had uh, no, no. I've made one maxi dress. Uh, I've knitted it, and really, I didn't wear it. I gave it as a gift to uh, to someone, and just I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel like it was my thing, and yeah. So this time, I decided to try one, to try one in a skirt version, and to choose like. It's kind of obvious, right? Um, to choose turquoise color, which is my favorite one. <laughs> apart from blue, apart from dark navy blue, this is my also very favorite color. And yeah, I got um, Egyptian cotton. It is number eight. I didn't. I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy number f number five or number eight. So I was like between one and another and as one year and a half passes by you just forget some stuff not like, like you exactly forget how to knit of course i, I remember that <laughs> but what i forget is kind of uh how the yarn feels how it looks the thickness how like what type of crochet hook i want to i want to use to knit it and yeah, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got 12. It's going to be 600 grams. Uh, each round uh, has 50 grams. And yes, it is Egyptian mercerized cotton by Valeria di Roma. <laughs> okay, uh, this looks like it's made in Barcelona in Spain yeah. yeah well looks like it's made in Barcelona or at least the company is from Barcelona so yeah I've never tried this yarn before and it feels good looks good like shiny not super neat shiny some I've seen yarn like if you look really really close you can see like small tiny here uh, out of the yarn I'll try to uh, and for, uh, and, for, and for cut, I will try to put my camera a little bit closer so you can see a little tiny tiny here but I've seen some mercerized cotton like it's spun so tight that you can't see any kind of hair going on there 
so yeah um let's see how it's gonna be and i'm really very excited i'm really very very excited so guys and i've got my crochet hooks because something bad happened to my uh, old crochet hooks i've been knitting with them for years and well a renewal i wanted to renew stuff and yeah let me see so i got i got several of them of course they are from clover i'll tell you a story that when i started knitting i had like when I get closer, there is kind of a reflection going on in my face. <laughs> okay, um, when I started knitting, I've had a crochet hook, like a metal one, very like, very, very basic one, very simple one, and I had 1.5. And I've been knitting with this crochet hook almost kind of anything any type of yarn I do not recommend anyone do that but that time I didn't know I was just experimenting and I basically I basically need uh, any type of yarn with this crochet hook I was just kind of trying to practice if you know you change crochet hooks number for different tension or in the yarn if the yarn is thicker or thinner and what type of effect you want so I've kind of learned how to knit with 1.5 any thickness and to have a good tension <laughs> it was kind of mission impossible i don't know how i've done it uh i definitely gonna repeat it again after i've read uh, a good very good review um and i've heard several people talking really good about clover crochet hooks like you can need hours with this and all the stuff so uh i've decided to buy one so i've bought i've bought uh the orange like orange golden i don't know really how you call them uh crochet hooks by clover i bought kind of line of numbers and guys i forgot the pain in my arm i forgot about this pain i've never got it again and i've been eating like hours non-stop it, they, they, they were like so good so comfortable so like it's even like faster like when you pull the yarn it's it's like smoother the movement and the yarn slides so well uh yeah it's kind of mini commercial but i'm not paid for that i just really love them and this time i decided to invest in this type of hooks they are kind of big ones they're like a little I don't know, they're in different colors and little fat ones. I'm not fan of different colors, but maybe it's a good thing you can just take exactly what you need. Uh, pretty fast. This time I decided to get not the whole line. I want to try them out. I got five. So I got 125, 105, 175, 2, and 25. Usually these were the numbers which I used mostly. Uh, I almost never used, uh, maybe one time I've knitted something with number three. And up there I've never gone. So I've decided to go for these ones. And as, as for now I decided not to knit something really tiny as I want to make courses for you guys. You won't be comfortable knitting something really, really very small or very tiny piece of thing. And that's why I decided not to buy something smaller than 125. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, what else I got? I got... I didn't buy... F I didn't pay for that. <laughs> I got a nice tiny... It was like a gift from the shop. Very nice touch. It's kind of a box as I showed you before. And I think I can I can put pins there. I'm just everything is still a little bit not organized because uh, well I still need to put one wardrobe completely. I mean to put to where, to to connect all the stuff and put it all together. Yeah, so things are not yet organized, but I've been taking out some stuff yesterday, 
And as you can see, my needles are not in the... I packed them this way to move from Santiago to Barcelona. Uh, but yeah, this one is going to be much fancy variant for it. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I think it will be like double two parts of the video because I will also get yarn from Colomarit and I will just probably put it together. I don't know. Okay, anyway, thank you for taking your time to watch this video and guys, see you soon. Bye.